Welcome to Sphere Finance. I am Price Time, and you're watching Sphere TV. Yield farming and staking are both popular decentralized methods of earning cryptocurrency rewards by depositing your crypto into a pool with other users. The pooled funds are then used to carry out smart contracts that generate those rewards. Typically, these rewards are distributed at a variable APR. APR stands for Annual Percentage Rate and is a measure of the yearly reward generated. It is also referred to as simple interest because the rewards are not compounded. Here's an example to better illustrate this concept. Trader Joe is a decentralized exchange on the Avalanche network. Trader Joe has its own token, the Joe token, which can be staked. When Joe is staked, it becomes S Joe, and stakers receive USDC rewards at a variable APR that is derived from a small fee from every swap executed by Trader Joe. Since that reward is distributed as an APR, stakers must harvest or claim their pending USDC rewards. Once claimed, that USDC can be used as the user best sees fit. This describes the basics of DeFi staking with APR rewards. Now, what if you were bullish on Trader Joe itself and wanted to increase your staked Joe position over time? Well, you could harvest your USDC rewards use Trader Joe to swap that USDC to more Joe, and then stake that new Joe back into the vault. This would now result in compounded returns because your initial staked position would increase, resulting in a greater potential to earn increasing USDC rewards over time. By redistributing your rewards back into the same strategy, you turn your APR into an APY, or annual percentage yield, and therefore boost your yield. The more frequently you harvest, swap, stake, and therefore compound, the higher your resulting APY will be. For example, a current SJO to USDC APR of 4.81% compounded semi-annually becomes an APY of 4.87%. But if you compound daily, you can boost your APY to 4.93%. This is where auto compounders come in. An auto compounder can create a vault where you can stake your Joe as S Joe. That vault will then automatically and regularly harvest the USDC rewards swap the USDC for more Joe, and stake that new Joe back into the vault. The entire process of compounding is automated for you by smart contracts, and better yet, the gas fees are socialized. When you have to manually harvest and compound your rewards, you have to pay a gas fee for every single transaction, so the more frequently you compound, Unfortunately, the more gas fees you will have to pay. But when you use an auto compounder, all of those fees are socialized across the entire platform, leaving more yield available to return to you. Now the process of staking Joe to S Joe becomes more capital efficient because you do not repeatedly have to pay gas fees and becomes automated thanks to the auto compounder's smart contracts performing all required transactions behind the scenes, while you sit back and enjoy your auto compounded rewards. So that is how a basic auto compounder works in DeFi. But Dyson, a new arm being built within the Sphere ecosystem, will offer exotic strategies to maximize yield farming and staking rewards for users. An exotic strategy is basically any other strategy besides simple auto compounding 
in order to maximize returns for users. Let's go back to the same Trader Joe example to give you an idea of how exotic strategies can work. The process starts the same as before. Dyson would create a vault where you could stake your Joe as S Joe. Dyson would then automatically and regularly harvest the USDC rewards. But this is where things get different. Instead of swapping that USDC for more Joe, Dyson could take that USDC and use it to swap for GMX, the staking token of a perpetual exchange on the Avalanche network. Dyson could then stake GMX to earn and harvest another token at a higher APR. In this case, AVAX currently at a 13.99% APR. Let's pause for a second because this is commonly referred to as yield on yield. The yield from SJO is being converted into another token that is also yield bearing. So your yield is earning you more yield at a higher APR, which accelerates your rewards. The AVAX harvested or claimed could then at long last be used to swap for more Joe, which can be staked back into the initial vault. The end result is that this generates higher returns for you as a Joe token staker than you could achieve through Trader Joe alone, thanks to the leveraging of the principle of yield on yield. The best part is that this would all be happening behind the scenes and automatically thanks to Dyson's smart contracts, and again with the transaction fees socialized in order to maximize your rewards. This is an example of how Dyson can increase the capital efficiency of the yield farming and staking DeFi space. With the introduction of these types of reward maximizing vaults, Dyson will set a new precedent of what is possible within DeFi. And for those of you who are curious, no, Dyson will not have its own token. Rather, performance and vault fees from Dyson will be directed into buying and burning the Sphere token. This means that Sphere holders can both earn maximized yield and support the Sphere ecosystem by simply using Dyson. Additionally, any governance required for Dyson will be conducted using VE Sphere once VE Sphere is released, so be sure to stay tuned. The best place to stay up to date on announcements or contact us is through the Sphere Finance Discord. Check the description below for official links. You can also leave us a comment below and we will do our best to help. After all, this video and channel is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. Thanks for watching and always remember that you matter for who you are. When you have to manually harvest and compound your rewards, you have to pay a gas fee for every single transaction. Oh, the pain.